everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new 2020 Fleetwood Flare. This is model 29M. This is a perfect entry level class A gas motorhome, couples coach with an outside kitchen. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you the three things I love about this RV and the three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, again, my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. So if you find reviews like this useful, consider subscribing. And again, we're taking a look at Fleetwood's entry-level motorhome, the Flare. This is model 29M. But the actual tip-to-tip -tip length is 31 feet, but it's a great size Class A gas motorhome for a beginner. Also, it's gonna be very uh, state and national park friendly for a Class A gas motorhome. But let's get started coming down the side. It is does have the Ford V10 engine in it, and it is on an F53 chassis. But notice right here, it's it's a lighter weight chassis than something like a Fleetwood Bounder or Fleetwood Southwind. And because of that, you only have one step coming up, not the two steps. You have frameless windows throughout the whole RV, and you have a nice power awning that goes the whole length of the RV. What I really like about this awning is, you have your outside kitchen here, and a lot of times the manufacturers will stop the awning here. This is nice because they put the awning under the outside kitchen. And here it is. Wow, check that out. You actually uh, get a microwave on the outside kitchen. I didn't even know that. And a plumb through sink. With a little refrigerator right there. And more kitchen countertop space. That's nice. Check out this, look at this. You know what, this is, I'm gonna call this, this is a great tailgate RV. Because look at this TV, if you're at a football game, that's very nice. And then you do get a little bit of storage. Now that's different. Okay, so here's your inverter. This is your power cord. Oh, okay, no, it's past your storage. Your power cord does go through on the other side. I was gonna say, that's pretty weird if it came out on this side. And then this is propane. And then what I mean when I say entry level motorhome, uh, I have a whole video that goes over the different levels of Class A gas motorhomes. And I'll put a link right up there. But this is some of the features that you're gonna get. You're gonna get flat fiberglass doors, not aluminum slam latch doors, but it is a great price point. And right here, you do have speakers on the outside. And right here, this is our propane quick connect for a grill. Coming around the back, you do have a bumper. That's nice because it's going to make it easy to get up on the ladder. You have a hitch. This is an 8,000 pound hitch, but this motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. Really, you can tow about five to 6,000 pounds to be safe. And then right there, you do have a backup camera. Also, you have a camera on your left side and right side. Let me go up on the roof and show it to you. All right, up here on the roof, even though this is an entry-level motorhome, and even though it's only 31 feet long, you still get 50 amps and two AC units, which is huge. Right up here, it does have the Wi-Fi Ranger right there. This is your digital antenna. Fleetwood, they do use a TPO roof that has a 12 year warranty on it. And these are Max Air fans. And then right up here, it is prepped for a satellite. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up on this video. The more thumbs up I get, the more YouTube likes to promote this video. And come on, how many salesmen are actually gonna go up on the roof 
to show you what's on top of it. Coming around the passenger side, your gasoline Phillips right there. Uh, it's a 90 gallon tank, and I'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome down in the description below. But I've been getting a lot of customer requests to show the RV with the slide out in. So when we go inside, you'll see what it's like while driving down the road. And then here's your city water connection, and here's your black tank flush. Right here's your water heater. It's a six gallon DSI water heater. And this is your dump station. Look at this. That's great. You see how big this is? Most of the time, the manufacturers, they'll make it the circle only like an inch bigger than that. That's great. Oversized. You have your water filter here, and this is your low point valves. Do you have an outside shower? Slide topper, of course. One full wall slide, which I'm a big fan of, which makes it very spacious on the inside. You'll see when we go in. And then right here, even though this is an entry level motorhome, Fleetwood still puts in a surge guard, standard, not an option, to protect your, you know, $100,000 investment. But it's not $100,000, it's less than that. Cool. Oh, where's the generator? Huh. Did you see the generator? No. I saw the pipe for it. Where? In the back. No, that's... See right there? generator. Where the hell is it? Oh, okay, that is it. Okay, so this is an access panel to the generator, and it is a 5500 Cummings Onan generator. That's very weird. Let's check out the inside. Nice. So here's the inside of the RV. And one of the reasons why this is great, I mean, look at this. Slide outs are in. You have plenty of space to walk through. I kind of like this L-shaped dinette going on here. You're able to get back to the bedroom. You're able to get back to the bathroom. Oh, we gotta put the parking brake off. God dang it. No. There we go. Now, real quick, I'm gonna be a little selfish here. I just bought this brand new outfit from Under Armour. I think I look fantabulous. And the orange is kind of my, my brand color. So, if anybody knows Kevin Plank from Under Armour, Tell them to check out Matt's RV reviews. And all I want is like seven free shirts, polos, and pants. I don't need no money or nothing. That'd be pretty cool. Because I'm in Maryland. Okay. Tell them I'll just go up to the factory. He doesn't even need to mail them to me. Cool. So here, check that out again with the slide out completely out. And then let's check out this cockpit area. Here in the driver's seat, look. Let me see this seat. Look how like big that seat is. This is like a really big, just comfortable seat. And I'm a wide dude. And you know, it's nice. Over here, you have your computer table tray, little glove compartment, whatever. You have a window right there. It's called a doggy window. But for me, it's a kitty window because I bring my cats camping with me. But my cats would actually probably sit up there. Over here on the driver's side, you can see that dashboard, power seat, up, down, in, out, all around. And then right here is your Bluetooth radio camera system. And then right here is your controls for your electric leveling. Right here, you do have a bunk over the cab. 
and it does come down like this. Great, so here it is, it does come with a ladder, and then this is weird, but you know, it's not a thick mattress right there, but again, this is for your non-paying customers. The customers buying it are sleeping in the back. Coming over here to the living room, look at this great big couch. This is nice. This is definitely a three-seater couch. Your frameless window's right here. You're able to get a lot of air. And then you do have the MCD blackout shades. I'm a huge fan of them. And there's seatbelts right here. But this, well, first, your television's right here. You're able to swing it out and stuff. It swings out, trust me. But uh, this is really interesting right here. I'm a fan of this dinette. The whole thing is, the dinettes take up so much space in a motorhome, right? And more times than not, and I've been hearing this a lot more lately, people aren't even eating inside, they're eating outside. Or if it's crap weather, they're going out to dinner. But yeah, so you don't really need a big dinette. It's really for like breakfast or lunch and not everybody's eating together at those times they're just kind of grabbing something or having a coffee this is great and then what's what what else is great it's it's a comfortable seat while driving down the road as well and this can come out so if you are just using this to go to a football game you know people have plenty of seats over here in the kitchen area you have a residential fridge a refrigerator i did see the inverter this is kind of weird this is bigger than your traditional RV refrigerator, but it's not your normal size of a residential refrigerator. I do like this oven though. This oven looks sharp, don't it? I don't even cook, but I feel like a master chef. That's a great looking oven, I'm sorry. Cool. Your microwave convection oven right there. Got plenty of countertop space bowl sink some people have been asking about this i'm not a fan of this i'd rather have the rectangular sink but whatever floats your boat and then right here is your cabinetry and it is hidden hinge cabinetry so you don't see it exposed when the doors are closed and then i'm sorry i didn't even mention this look at that big window this is a small motorhome and the big windows in here is what makes it feel really open Here's the bathroom. You have, oh, look at that. Okay, not a fan of that. Look, they like, they literally like took shortcuts. I'm not, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I'm not an octagon type of guy. I'm a rectangular type of guy, you know? I don't like this octagon shape. But here's your shower, still plenty tall, still plenty wide. Just these corners are kind of funky. Here in the bathroom area, have your little cabinetry there, plenty of cabinetry. You have a, uh, oh, you could get a porcelain toilet. There you go. There it is, man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> just, a, just a normal toilet. Yeah, this is actually nice. And I like this, you know why? Because this kind of like balances out, you know, a little, little darkness to a little lightness. Coming over here to the bedroom area, real nice looking cabinetry in here. It actually looks a little different from out in the living room, right? That kind yeah, of glossy, is. this is kind of like barn house look. Yeah. I like that. Look at that wardrobe. TV right there, plenty of space there above there love the window in the back and then this is a king size bed with storage underneath wow great amount of storage underneath and yeah nice king size bed great well that's the 20 2020 Fleetwood Flare 29M now before you leave it's now time for me to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it what should I do first Will Three things you love. Okay. <clears throat> this oven 
is awesome. I know it's silly, but this is a great setup right here. Number two, <clears throat> this L shape, right? I absolutely love that. That's amazing. And then number three, Combo it will. Outside kitchen, big TV, big awning. No slide outs on this side. Again, this is a entry level tailgate RV. This is great, it gets the job done. I wouldn't full time in this RV, but it is great for weekends and vacations and everything. Now, the three things I don't like. We're going around here. You already know, you already know. <laughs> The generator, right? That's where the generator is. There. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's just a weird spot for a generator. I don't like that because sometimes, sometimes the generator button doesn't work on the inside of the motorhome. So you have to actually physically press the generator button. And that, you have to undo a whole bunch of crap. That was not, not great. Number two. It's gonna sound really silly, but I'm a silly guy. I don't like the back of the chair. The back of the chair looks like the front of the chair, doesn't it? Look at the front of the chair. It looks just like the back of the chair. It's like which way is forward, which way is backwards. I don't know. That just looks weird. I don't like that. Oh crap. You know what? I'm gonna take that back because there's two other things I really don't like. That shower. Octagon shower, hashtag it will, no octagon showers, hashtag rectangular showers, that's what I'm a fan of. And then finally, for me personally, I'm not sure for you will, I don't like how you have to climb on the bed like this. The bed sits up really high, I'm not a fan of that. But other than that, that wraps up this video. If you have any questions about this RV or anything RV related, Send me an email, it's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that circle button to subscribe. And if you want to see other great videos just like this, I'll have videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you next time.